Hi, this is Jeff Lesher with What's the Point? And the point this week is the injury that only takes moments to create can take weeks, months, potentially longer to heal if it ever does. And I'm going to talk principally about emotional injury and healing as occurs in relationships, especially in work relationships that can go awry, often because we don't regularly engage with the level of candor that we should. And so that when we do, the force of what comes out is out of our control and tremendous, causing even more injury, causing injury perhaps that wouldn't occur otherwise if we remain in control and meted out what needed to be said in a much more timely way. I'm telling you this story, giving you this picture, sitting in what used to be my very orderly dining area, a state of things that I much prefer. And now you can see all this uh, stuff <laughs> is stacked under the table. And you'll remember, I told you the story last week about the flood that we experienced a couple of weeks ago. And it was a circumstance where very much uh, something analogous, if not metaphorical, to what I just described occurred that a circumstance of a great deal of rain in a sewer system that has too limited of a capacity caused a buildup that broke through with force that in the, the span of, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so has done significant damage to our home and many other homes and will displace us for weeks on end in a variety of ways, uh, not to mention cost a heck of a lot of money to a lot of people to repair and then hopefully to recover from. Uh, you know, while this is far from the world's worst challenge to have, it's absolutely a challenge. It's a challenge to physical health, it's a challenge to mental well-being, and there's a certain amount of lingering effect. We, we've actually been through this once before, and afterwards, even when the walls are back up, every time it rains you're on edge thinking you know when is this going to happen again and how am i possibly going to live through another of these cycles so that's the context in which i'm inspired to talk about something that i experience with clients and friends and on my own all the time which is the injury and these things really are they hurt when people say things to us at particular times and particular ways about particular things that seem to come out of nowhere and with a ferocity that is searing versus somebody that we really trust and rely on who can tell us that something isn't quite right in what they're seeing from you or feeling quite right in the connection they have with you or they've observed you not engaging quite rightly or at your best with others. And they, they tell you, and it's not heaped on top of all sorts of other things. It's relatively speaking in real time. And it comes across as exactly the genuine caring and constructive support that it's intended to be. So I'll keep this relatively short so as not to build up a whole bunch of force and then mow you down with it just to say, take the time on a regular basis to precisely and candidly talk about what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're experiencing, what you might see others experiencing, the impact of somebody's action or inaction, and ask them about it and see where they're observing it, if they are at all find out what might be driving it for them, what's going on that you're not aware of that you can't see. Uh, maybe they just suffer displacement or are going through some other kind of anxious or stressful circumstance or there was some other triggering element or event. It doesn't make it right, it's not an excuse, but the understanding of it is key because it puts them back in control of when they could talk and how they could talk even more effectively with those around them and have the impact that they want versus the impact that they're very likely having. And that they'll appreciate that and not be injured by it
versus again letting it build up and then pour through the, you know the dams break so to speak the levees are overrun in a way that absolutely causes damage in a short time that may never be recoverable you can put walls back up but you can't take the stress away you can build trust but then when you lose it you're not only starting again from zero you're starting from a negative think about that think about what's on the line when you choose not to engage not to have a conversation in real time to put it off to wait to delay you're really setting up yourself and others for potentially injurious failure and that's on all of us we have the opportunity to avoid it so let's do that let's talk to people now let's be square with them let's be straight up let's be candid let's be timely let's be thoughtful let's let our caring lead and be specific and help each other to be better spend a lot less time trying to fill in a hole that you dug and a lot more time building each other up to higher and higher places and don't you want to be there because if you're at that higher place when the flood does come you're spared the worst of it and that's the point